What is up guys, today we are going to test the read write speeds of the Samsung 64GB EVO Plus micro SD card. So here is the micro SD card and we are going to be using the uh, SD card, micro SD card adapter. And yeah guys, if you remember I have done a speed test of this exact same card on my YouTube channel but many of you pointed out that the Sony Xperia Z3 I was using only has a USB 2.0 bus. So we're going to be using a MacBook Air today. I'm going to be using the built-in SD card reader of the MacBook Air. This is indeed a USB 3 capable SD card reader. So let's get started. Uh, first off, let me show you the product web page. This is the micro SD Evo Plus 64GB memory card with adapter, of course. There's the adapter. So we can see here Samsung claims that this memory card read speeds are up to 80 megabytes per second and write speeds are about up to 20 megabytes per second. So we're going to test that out right now and see how well this card performs. And yes, my Mac is indeed running Windows 10 Professional mainly because I couldn't get Mac OS to paste on the SD card so I couldn't copy stuff onto the SD card even though I was able to read it I don't know why uh, maybe some sort of incompatibility but anyways we are on Windows so no problems so first off we're gonna test the read speed of the card so I have here a file which is 3.21 gigabytes not sure if you guys can see okay so this file is around 3.21 gigabytes and I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it and paste it on my desktop so we can test the read speed okay let's go and yes that is indeed a significant improvement uh, earlier we we're getting around 34 megabytes read speed on the USB 2.0 bus and on the USB 3 it indeed touches 80 megabytes per second so yep that's actually pretty nice that's done and now I'm going to cut and paste the same file on the SD card so we're gonna that that'll be your write speed so here we go this should average around 20 so this is indeed working as advertised actually even better than what Samsung is advertising uh, Samsung said the write speed will be around 20 megabytes per second but we're getting around 23 so that's good again an improvement over my previous test which was giving around only 16 megabytes per second
Okay, so part two of my test, I'll copy multiple files. So this folder has lots of wallpapers, around 541 wallpapers to be exact. As you, if you hope you can see, 541 items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all of these and again paste it on my desktop so we can see the read speed of the SD card, micro SD card. So the total size is around uh, 1.12 gigabytes. So let's get started. You're gonna cut and paste it on the desktop. Wow, check this out, guys. That's actually pretty fast. Uh, 50 megabytes per second for multiple files. That's done. And now I'm gonna cut and paste it back on the micro SD card so we can check the write speed of multiple files. Paste. Let's go. Again, same as advertised. Uh, we were averaging around uh, 20 to 30. It went up to 30. Yeah, not bad at all. guys that concludes this video and I can say that you guys were right so guys that concludes this video and I hope you uh, enjoyed watching it and indeed whatever Samsung is claiming is actually true so we were getting a read speed about 80 megabytes per second and write speeds up to 20 megabytes per second but we, you can see we got around 23 megabytes too so thank you guys for watching and I hope this video helps you in purchasing your next memory card so see you all later.